Hello, this is Alex Eames from Raspi.tv. Hello. Well, some of you may have seen my blog last week uh, about the temperature sensing with these Wemos D1 mini boards. So what I made was I made a temperature sensing network which uh, using TMP36 temperature sensors, analog ones, connected to these little Wemos D1 ESP8266 boards which have Wi-Fi on them which is really useful so I've made a bunch of wireless sensors which are dotted about the house and in the workshop and I have a web server which I can log on and check the temperature of any place in the house at will which is fabulous. This is the Wemos D1 Mini Pro and it's the same size as the D1 Mini. It's got 16 megs of flash whereas the D1 Mini has 4 although the flash firmware isn't written yet so you can't actually use it yet but that will happen at some point. Also you have instead of the PCB antenna on the D1 Mini you have a ceramic one on the Pro but you've also got the capability of connecting an external antenna if you want because there's a socket just here but in order to do that you have to move a zero ohm link which is currently connecting the chip to the onboard antenna you have to flip that round so it connects the socket and that's what I'm going to show you today it's quite tricky I already messed one up with my reflow gun and blew away the link and then I had to end up using a piece of wire to make the connection between the two which is fine it works perfectly that's what I have on this one but it's not as elegant and it's not pretty and I totally messed up the video so I'm gonna have a go at doing it all over again but before I do that I want to show you the size of the component that we're gonna move because it really is quite small it's a 0603 SMT 0 ohm link I'll show you the size of that right now compared with a ruler and some coins so you can get an idea of just how small it is it, for my 47 year old eyes I can just about see this component to be able to stick a pair of tweezers on it so it's really working right at the edge of my visual acuity although my optician tells me I probably should start wearing plus ones for close work but I'm not even 50 yet not ready for that so this is about as close as I can get with my video camera and so you've got a US dollar dime here and the ruler scale is millimeters so you can see this smallest of the three components is actually the size of the one that we want to move. This here is a 1206 this is a, a 0805 and this is a 0603 so you can see that it's about fractionally over a millimeter long and less than a millimeter wide and the component that we have to move is this one here with a zero on it because it's a zero ohm link so here you have the ESP8266 chip here you have the ceramic antenna and you can see the zero ohm link is connecting this circuit with that antenna what we're going to try and do is melt the solder on here rotate it so that it's joining that track with this one connecting to the external antenna which we will then plug in. Wish me luck, it's not an easy thing to do. So I'm going to have a go at moving the zero ohm link now using my hot air reflow station. It's a bit noisy and hopefully it will go smoothly. I've already messed it up once but whether it goes well, whether it goes badly, I'm going to show you how it goes because it's real and it's fun. Let's just prove that the, the air gun is actually working because I'm not sure if it is. Well, well, it is. But I think I may need to up, up the flow a bit. It's only on 40% at the moment. Okay. I'm reluctant to up it too much because if I up it too much it will blow the component away if I lose my grip on it.
Yay, that worked. See, got it off. Now I've got to try and put it back. But the tripod's in the way, so how am I going to do that? I may have to change hands. Now, let's have a good look. Have I succeeded or have I just plopped it down on top of... Oh, it seems to be attached. That's great. Well, I don't want to risk blowing it away, so what I'm going to do is have a close look. That looks okay. What about this side? Yeah, it looks okay, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to rub the soldering iron, not the reflow gun, I'm just going to touch it both sides with a soldering iron just to make absolutely sure. Obviously it's not straight, but it's something of a miracle that I managed to get it on there at all, to be honest with you, after my last attempt. Okay, so, let's just touch the soldering iron that side, just to make sure we have a joint. And again on that side as well. I know it looks huge to you but I can barely see this thing. Right, okay. Now let's check the quality of our... oh yes that's, that's a decent joint. And on that side that's okay, it's not straight and it's not going to win any awards. But there's surely an electrical connection there which is now joining this circuit to the external antenna. So then we can plug in an external antenna and try it out. Hurrah! Let's give it a shot, see if it works. Well that was a tricky little devil, I tell you. I can barely see the resistors uh, that size. Well, hurrah! Let's go and flash a sketch to it, see how well it does. Okay, so I flashed the Wemos Pro with a sketch called Wi-Fi Scan, which scans your local area to see what Wi-Fi connections are available. And as you can see, I have 32 or 31. It does change a little bit after attaching the external antenna, I have 31 or 32 available um, without having the external antenna, there's less than half that available. So although some of them are weak, you can see some of them like minus 92, 93, they're right about as far away as you could possibly get and still see them. It does prove that you have better range because it can see things that the previous one couldn't with the onboard antenna. So, if you need the ultimate range, you can do it. That's a win. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. I plan to do some more videos of this nature, doing surface mount and reflow work and close up stuff, which I think people will find interesting. I certainly enjoy it and hope you will too. If you liked the video, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. This was Alex Eames for Raspi.tv. Thank you for watching.